Welcome to the IC3D tutorial training video, Interior Fill. We're going to start with a model which we've already built using the usual tools with IC3D and drag it from the model library to the scene. Select the bottle part of the model. It is important when ray tracing, so that you can achieve true photorealism, to have an interior liquid fill inside your bottle. This will allow you to get the right levels of refraction and reflections needed to create full photorealism. To enable us to do this, we now have a new feature called Interior Fill. Select the template library, click and drag the Interior Fill icon onto the bottle in the scene. This will open up the Interior Fill template window. To start with, you need to create and apply an interior to your bottle. So we need to input some values that relate to the height of the interior base from the bottom of the bottle, the thickness of the wall of the bottle, the radius measurement of the interior corner. Select the style that you want the bottom corner of the interior to be. You can choose from contoured, which follows the contour of the exterior of the bottle, or angled, curved, or flat. In this case, contoured and then click the Apply Interior button. This will calculate the interior fill volume and display the maximum amount of liquid that can be filled within the bottle. We then need to define the amount of headspace above the liquid. This is the distance from the top of the bottle down to the liquid surface. You can change the angle of the top of the liquid and the direction of that angle if you want to display the bottle tilted in any direction. Now choose a liquid material for the fill. Here, a default whiskey liquid, the actual liquid characteristics of color or transparency can be edited later. Then click the Apply Fill button. This will again calculate the actual fill volume of the liquid. Once you are happy with all the settings, click the Add to Scene button. This concludes the IC3D tutorial video, Interior Fill.